when we want to cross the road to another place, we will need to cross the traffic line. But when it suddenly rain, rain, we might not have an umbrella and we will get drenched and, and it will be troublesome to walk all the way to grab and press the button to make it turn red like this. But why don't we put a ultrasonic sensor to solve all these problems? We need two micro bits, an ultrasonic sensor, three LEDs, a breadboard and a L and some wires. There are some features that I use in this project. First, I use radio. Second, I use ultrasonic sensor. And third, I use LED. Let me show you a demonstration on how it will work. When it sees an obstacle, this microbit will send a radio wave to this microbit for it to count down from 5 to 0. Then, it will send a radio wave to this to count down, count down and show how much time that there is left for the pedestrians to cross the road. Now, let us look at the programming of the pedestrian ultrasonic sensor microbeam. Here, we are using the radio, ultrasonic sensor and LED features of the microbeam. Firstly, you will need to download a package called Sona. This package provides you with an API to serve the distance of an object from the ultrasonic sensor. In our code, we get the distance from the sensor. If the distance is less than or equal to 5 cm, we will send a message to the traffic light microbit that a pedestrian want to cross the road. Also, we have another piece of code that receives a message from the traffic light microbit. This message will be used to show the pedestrian of the amount time left to cross the road. Next, let us look at the programming of the traffic light microbit. Here, we are using the radio, pin, for loop, and LED feature of the microbit. On start, we are using the pin tool to set the traffic light to green. In the event, if the pedestrian ultrasonic sensor microbit send a message that a pedestrian want to cross the road, we will use pin 1 to set the traffic light to amber, followed by using pin 0 to set the traffic light to red. We will also use the LED for the right turn arrow for the task to make the turn for 5 seconds. Next, we will use a for loop to do a countdown for the pedestrian to cross the road. For every second, we will send a message of the time that is left. Finally, after the pedestrian has crossed the road, we will use pin 2 to set the traffic light back to green. That is all we need to program for this project.